what are archetypes? Because a lot of people hear the term and it sounds so mystical. And <laughs> how would you describe, or what, how would Jung describe what an archetype is? Yeah, I mean, to put it in perspective, if we go back to Freud, um, early 1900s. Let's um, go back. Uh, his idea of psychoanalysis, uh, and, and really the idea that there's an unconscious mind in us mm -hmm. that is very influential in how we see the world and, and the kind of things that we do in the world, was groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody had really brought that forth into popular culture mm -hmm. like Freud did. He was an excellent promoter of his work, and he just put it out there. Mm -hmm. And then Jung, of course, Jung and Adler uh, kind of came along with him, but went off into different directions. And for us, Jung really took it to the next level because he opened up the idea of if you look at literature, if you look at art, you're seeing something deeper of the expression of the psyche mm -hmm. than just your personal neuroses like like Freud had thought, mm -hmm. you know, you're seeing uh, sexual images in these <laughs> things or projecting these things. But Jung said, yeah, there, there's definitely some of that, but there's deeper elements going on, which he called the archetypes. And the archetypes are, uh, in a sense, in the Jungian sense, they're creating our culture. And what he says is they're autonomous forces. Mm. So they're very much like the Greeks thought of the gods mm. influencing and playing into human culture. Uh, that's more the way the Jung saw the archetypal work is that it, they are these psychic forces that are playing out in culture and politics, in cinema and literature. And so it's a it's a unique way of seeing the world that really gives us a way to understand it. And so from Freud's point of view, he might have thought that the culture is created by our neuroses and our personal history, and yeah. this is humanity, and this is how humanity plays out. And we can think of, you know, centuries and centuries of uh, being uh, on this planet. We formed different cultural agreements but and, and the roles that we took on. But what Jung saw is that that predates humanity. Archetypes predate hu the humanity. They they have they're the building blocks of the universe, and um, they take on characters. They keep take on themes. Um, like the hero's journey is an archetype itself. Mm -hmm. The ego is an archetype. Uh, so it's not just uh, saints. Um, I know in, in, in Catholicism, there's the saints for different uh, type of uh, areas of life. So they're kind of take on the archetypes, the Greek gods. And also, too, what I loved about g learning, well, Rob, you have your degree in undergrad in fine arts. So I didn't study art growing up in New Jersey. It wasn't I wasn't exposed to that kind of culture. Um, going to see artwork with you and going to the great museums like mm -hmm. the Metropolitan Museum of Art and um, and what, looking at all these masterpieces you see the archetypes in there and for me understanding that that part of the psyche helps me even have a deeper appreciation for the artist and for the art and it's just it's just fascinating it just makes life more more rich yeah and so in the crown uh, we see some very interesting archetypes uh being played out mm -hmm. by these individuals mm. and we're going to focus so there's also the male but we're going to focus on the the female archetypes and when tony wolf studied with young she realized that there were these four primary roles that women fell into back in the victorian days and that was the mother the wife role the uh lover role the professional or the warrior role, and then the mystical role. The, he, she called it the medium, which is more like kind of the the nun or the witch, the witch that lives in the, the who does the herbs, and she's like kind of outside of society. And so, um, as modern women, we our our roles are a little more complicated. We're not just the mother. We're not just the lover, um, we we have a lot of we have a, we're the professional and the mother sometimes, and so by understanding these archetypes, we can understand a little bit of who we are.